Well, what is going on guys? My name is Fusions and today we're going to be opening up this big Bakugan Diogan Rising Diogan Face-Off Walmart exclusive box. So let's get started guys. All right guys, so here we have this Walmart exclusive Diogan Face-Off box. It is a big, big box, but we only have two Geogons in here and two Bakugan. So I don't think there's a need for this box. I think there's, it, the box is huge because we have a mat as well, like one of these like weird uh, mats. But yeah, it's an exclusive box and uh, I've been looking for this one for a while and I finally found it. So yeah, let's open it up. We got uh, four Bakugan slash Geogons in total. Let's look at the back of this. There we go. So we got uh, Chaos Nilius there. Uh, Aqua Surturon, Ventus Montropod, and Pyrus Spartillion. We got the two uh, character cards, two action cards, two gate cards. Hopefully, those are like some good ones. And then four uh, cores there. So let me just open this box because it's huge. It's kind of taking up a lot of space. And then I'll be right back. So here's everything that came inside the box. We have this little display thing, which uh, has all the Bakugan and Geogun. We have this bag that has all the cards and the Baku cores. And then we have this um, this like plate mat thing that we're gonna open up at the end uh, because it's huge and I don't wanna open it up first. So we'll, we'll leave that till the end. Stick around till the end to see that, uh, how it is. I don't really like it. I've, because I've opened another box like this and like I don't even use that mat. It's kind of it's kind of a weird mat. You guys will see. Let's open up this uh, bag first. These bags over here. So this is the little instructions for the mat, like how to fold them and stuff. And we also do have the cores in here, which I'm going to put to the side for now. So I think it just shows you how to fold the mat itself just so it doesn't take up that much space. We're just going to throw that to the side. Let's open up this other bag here. And let's take a look at the action cards because I think it comes with two action cards, I believe. So this is the little rule book as well. Yep, a little rule book. We have. Let's turn this around. We have this uh, this thing. I don't know why you would need that. We have uh, the character cards. We'll take a look at those later. Let's see what kind of uh, gate cards we have in here. So we have. Oh no. We have same old old gate cards. Gate card number 19. Uh, I've seen this one a lot. And then gate card number four, this other gate card that I have seen a lot. Now let's look at the cores that it comes with. So we got two magic shields, one regular shield and a green fist. So let's see what they what they are. So the green fist is plus three attack, which is just a normal one. Uh, we got a shield, which is Aquals and Pyres get plus 400 B. That's actually one of the best uh, regular shields. We got plus 600 for this magic shield. All right. Not bad. Second best. And then another plus 600 b magic shield so pretty nice cores i would say three out of the four were pretty nice let's take out the bakugan now here we have spartillion here we have nilius we have surturon and last but not least we have mantrapod oh it unfolded very very long geogun and now let's take a look at the bakugan so first we're going to be taking a look at Chaos nilius we have a magic shield and a green fist for this Chaos Nilius. 600 B power, 6 attack, and we have the reroll ability that you can uh, roll, reroll this Bakugan once per turn. So if you do miss with it, you can reroll it once. Um, I have seen this one recently. Uh, this is a duplicate for sure. Uh, 600 B power is pretty good. With the magic shield, you get 1250 with 6 attack. That's actually not bad. 1250 and 6 attack, yeah. Not, not bad for sure. I like uh, the stats. It's, they're not the best for Chaos, but it's pretty good. All right, let's roll this uh, Nilius onto that core. And let's see how it opens up. Three, two, one, brawl. And there is Nilius. A very cool looking uh, Bakugan here. Looks pretty awesome. I like the Chaos colors on it. I think it looks great. Uh, the thing that I don't like is that the right head has blue eyes. And I feel like the middle one should have the blue eyes because the other two have orange. So yeah, I don't know. The symmetry, it just, it bothers me. But yeah, pretty cool Bakugan. It looks awesome and the stats are not too bad. Closing this is very simple. First, we're gonna put one of the legs up, the head down, and then the wing down. And then you're gonna do the same for the other side. Leg up, head down, wing down. Then you're gonna have this sort of shape here. We're gonna put the head down and then finish it with the tail. 
that is how you close this Nilius. Up next, we're going to be taking a look at Pyrus Spartillion. We got a magic shield and a regular shield for this Bakugan. Spartillion is a very cool Bakugan, but this Pyrus one, it is not the best. It is not good, I would say. 100 B power and 4 attack. I'm pretty sure I have this one as well, so this might be another duplicate for me. We have a, a double strike as well with this Bakugan, and it, but it doesn't help it. 100 B power is the lowest you can have. I don't think I've seen a Bakugan have zero, so 100 is the lowest. Four attack is okay. It's eh, it's not. It's just not it. I don't think this Spartillion is good for competitive. I would say for like um, you know playing, uh, but the Bakugan itself is uh, it's pretty cool. I like how it looks. So here's Spartillion uh, with the Pyrus colors. We're gonna open it up onto this uh, core here. And let's see how this opens up. Three, two, one, bra. And there it is. Such a cool Bakugan, I would say. I actually do like how this looks. I don't really like uh, the, the Pyrus colors on it as much as like other colors, other factions. But um, it still looks pretty cool. Yeah, Spartillion, just the design itself. I think it's it's a cool uh, Bakugan. And closing it is super, super simple. We're going to put the head down first. Close it like this. And arm in side in and then arm in and then the um the little disc in yeah very simple to close uh the stats for like for play for competitive play there you're just never gonna use this but it's still a cool bakugan but that is a uh, pyrus spartillion now let's take a look at the geogon so the first geogon that we're gonna take a look at is aquos sortoron i cannot remember if i have this one already but this one is seven energy to play, 2000 B power, 12 attack, uh, seven energy. That's uh, my nightmare right there. I don't like having Geogun with a lot of energy. Um, and I feel like this one is not good. I gotta say for seven energy, you're only getting 2000 B power and then 12 attack. Yeah, I feel like you should be getting a lot more with seven energy. Also, no abilities, no extra um you know things that you can do with this one so yeah it just it just doesn't look good but what do you guys think let me know in the comments but here is the geogon itself sir Turon, looking pretty neat i would say um i don't really like the design as much as other geogon um and i always forget whenever i buy, i guess sir Turons, i forget to take these out because these are the manual parts that it has that you can uh they're like um like the, the legs in the back. So we have the front ones and we also have the back ones. So we have the four legs. Yeah, I always forget to take those out, but yeah, these are manual. You could put them back in like that on both sides. And that is a uh, sword to run. Closing it is super simple. We're gonna put the head back like this, arms in on both sides, and then kind of just push everything together. It's, that's how you do it. It's super, super simple. Uh, not a difficult Geogon to close. And uh, not a very interesting one, in my opinion. But do you guys like Surturon? Um, let me know in the comments if there's any Surturon fans. Uh, yeah, comment below. But that is uh, this Aquos Surturon. And now for the finale, for the last Geogon, the last Bakugan inside this box, we have this Ventus Montropod. Eight energy. That's even higher than the other one that we just saw. Uh, 1500 B power. That's very low B power. For eight energy 20 attack though 20 damage and then we do have the reroll ability if you somehow don't open with this ventus Montropod. uh you do you can reroll it or redrop it in this case since it is a geogon 20 attack is what you're going for you're not going for the 1500 there are bakugan that could get to higher numbers without wasting the eight energy here so you're going for the damage for sure um and I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think the eight energy might be worth um, the 20 damage. But let me know in the comments. Uh, convince me in the comments that this is worth it. Let me know, please. Comment below. Stats aside, uh, competitive or not, usable or not, the Geogun itself looks amazing. This clear plastic that they put on here makes it look super, super sick. One of my favorite uh, Montropod factions or uh, Montropod in general, um, this one right here, just because of how it looks. It looks awesome. It really does. 
I remember liking the Aquos Mantra Pod because of the clear plastic as well, and it looked like really, really good. But this one I think is better. I think it just looks way better. It looks great. It looks really, really good. I like this one for sure. Closing this is very simple. First, we're gonna roll, start rolling it from the back like this, but then we're gonna stop there because we gotta hold this and keep rolling both sides kind of at the same time. And there we go. We meet right in the middle. That is how you close this uh, mantra pod. I mean, it's an awesome geo gun for sure. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Oh, you guys thought I forgot something. We have the play mat here that we have to open up as well. Um, it's not really worth showing it, but I will show it. I mean, just because here it is. Um, it's a weird play mat. This thing is going to open up so fast. I got to be careful. All right, let me open it up. There we go. All right, so here it is. Oh, actually, this one is not as bad as the other one. So this one has like some Geoguns on here. We got the Geogun Rising logo there. We got Mutasec, Talon, Slugler, and we got another Geogun logo and Arcleon right there. So this one is, uh, is actually not as bad as the other one. It doesn't have like weird numbers or stuff all over it. So you can actually probably play on this. Um, I don't recommend playing on it, but I don't know. Uh, it's 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 a mat that's what it is but yeah that's that's all i'm gonna show you guys from this mat uh that is it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe and stay tuned for more bakugan content i got the new cores i got the new geoguns i got lots of stuff like i just found so many things stay tuned to the channel don't miss any videos thanks for watching guys and peace out